kind of funny when you think about it, considering that, like, the last time I played this was a, a ROM hack years ago. I say play this like I played Heart Gold before, but no, I'm more specifically talking about, um, <laughs> Liquid Crystal, but we don't talk about that series anymore. No, not anymore. Hey there, guys! Luigi Vance here, welcoming you <laughs> to Pokemon Heart Gold! Not gonna lie, I spent kind of a long time trying to debate, like, debating whether or not I should just skip ahead to Gen 5, but I was just like, you know what? I in a technical sense, I haven't done I haven't played through the Johto region in a traditional sort of way. And that's where this series comes in. Man, can you believe it's been like over 10 years since Heart Gold Soul Silver came out? Yeah, I don't either. That's crazy. A a anyways, enough distracting. <laughs> enough distracting. Enough talking. Why don't we just like get started? But I, I, you gotta admit, this is a pretty cool o opening, opening scene, opening title screen. Oh, it did the cry. Hey, you need information about this game? No, I'm good. Okay, just as a reminder, this is the DS, so everything's on the touch screen. Oh. Well, what? Is it already that late? Oh no, I overslept! Yo, that's such a mood. Hello there! <laughs> Sorry, I, I just can't help but saying that. Sorry to keep you waiting! This is my Oak voice! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. But before any uh, go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things uh, you should know about this world. This world's widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Look, it's a Meryl! We humans live alongside as friends. <laughs> as with Pokemon as friends. At times we play each other, at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well... I'm a boy. Yes, I am a boy. <laughs> Do I need to explain myself further? My name... Well, er everyone who, who has watched my channel, who's been watching my channel should know the name Spud at this point. Not Sped! Wow! I know how to spell Spud! Wow! I'm awake, I swear! Your name is Spud? Yeah. It is. Spud! Are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventures is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences, there's so much waiting for you. Dreams! Adventures! Let's go to the world of Pokemon. See you later. I've been shrunk. Hi. First things first, because I oh I can't access menu because I forgot how this works. Hi. It's a Wii. <laughs> With the Wii is huge in Johto too. Man, have you heard of this thing called the Switch? That's worth at. All oh, right. PC's all about mailboxes, and it seems like I have a letter from Lyra. Who the hell is Lyra? Let's read her mail. <laughs> Adventure! Excited! I love Pokemon! Mood. <laughs> Alright, well, there's nothing to do in my room, so let's go downstairs. Hi, Spud! You're finally awake! I know, it's so late, right? Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide-and-seek with her Meryl. I don't know why she decided to do it in our house, but it eh, seems fun. Oh, I almost forgot! Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. This is your trainer card. Here, you can save a record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. You've, you've given me the option to... Increase our tech speed. Jesus, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting how slow Pokemon options are. Um, another change I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch from shift to set. For those who don't know how how Pokemon works, which I don't know why you would ask. I don't know who wouldn't know at this point, considering the series has been going on for 25 years. Uh, shift is when you defeat a Pokemon, 
And then the game asks you, hey, this Pokemon, this trainer's about to send out a Pikachu, you wanna switch? The set is pretty much, hey, you defeated the Pokemon, here's the next one, good luck. I'm also gonna change a frame. I, I like changing the frames. And this is so something I honestly miss. Uh... There was one that I had to go to. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was this one. We'll go with Window Type 10. Cool. And that's it. All right. See you later, Mom. <laughs> ah, such a nice brisk day. Oh, hey, Meryl. Not even saying hi to your neighbor. Wow, such rudeness. Anyways, let's explore before we head off to uh, Professor Elm's house. This is Lyra's house. Yo, Spud! I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Did he now? Ooh, I wonder what he discovered this week. <laughs> what he discovered this week. Hi, Spud. Lyra's upstairs. She's playing games with her Pokemon as usual. You didn't bring your Pokemon? Oh, I should have known. You don't have one. Well, I hope I didn't hurt your feelings, Spud. Yeah, thanks, old man. Thanks, Lyra's dad. I feel sad now. I don't have a Pokemon. Anyways, hi, Lyra. Spud! Professor Elm was looking for you. Did you go to his lab? No, should I? Should I have gone to his lab? Maybe I should. <laughs> Maybe I should go to his lab. All right, well. Enough screwing around, I guess. Uh, let's go to this house. This has to be Professor Elm's house. Not his lab, but his house. No, it's not. Pikachu's an evolved Pokemon. This fact was the first discovered Professor Elm. That was what I just said. I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. He's all he's so famous for his research, research on Pokemon evolution. Uh, I wish I could be a researcher like him. Then study up. Go to school. Become a researcher. That's how you live life. All right. Let's go to the lab. Oh, hello. Who are you, mysterious red-haired boy? <laughs> so, this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? <laughs> Get out of here! Fine. Rude. All right, how's it going? Hi, Spud. I've been waiting for you. Did you know anything about my research? All I know is that you studied Pokemon evolution and you discovered a new Pokemon. As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm gonna give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokemon to see if it brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Oh, it's a phone call! <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's email. Right, I forgot. This is 2010. Emails are still a thing. Hmm, uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably just another Pokemon egg, but we're still busy with our research. Wait, I know. You can go to our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. I thought that's what I was doing anyways. Elm, are you okay? Did you bonk your head? I don't blame you if you bonked your head. Touch a Pokeball to see what Pokemon's inside. So, we have an option of three starters. Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile. Unfortunately, I'm not picking either one of those because I'm picking Chikorita. Listen, I have a reason. Right? And that reason is Liquor Crystal. <laughs> That's the only valid explanation. Also, also, this is going with my philosophy. Hey, pick a starter, uh, not pick a starter, pick a grass type starter because grass type starters are cool. I'm gonna regret that when we get to the first gym. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, but we shall name Chikorita Viridian. In before I'm like, wait, is that how I spell it? Oh no, because I have notes on this and like, I, hopefully I updated the, I updated the list. Okay, cool. I did, but I'm missing an. <laughs> I'm missing a an extra I, I think. Yeah. Viridian. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're f***ed up. We're f***ing the name up. It's okay, we'll just deal with it until the time comes. Yeah, that's the nickname I want to give it. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and, uh, and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Spud. <laughs> Viridian staring intently at Spud's face. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> Hi, do you have something to say? Spud, I want you to have these to help me with your task. Oh, thanks. Potions. Just what I needed. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Rude. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Alright, well, we got our first Pokemon, and now we're off on an adventure. And then Lyra is here again. Spud! So you picked a Chikorita! That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right! Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! Or I can just ignore everything and just go outside. Wait, Spud! Wait a sec. What? I have my own Pokemon. I can leave. Did you leave your Poke Gear at home? You should ask your mom. Oh yeah, she didn't pack me. My, she didn't pack my Poke Gear. Ooh, I do need to go back actually. How's it going? Oh, Spud, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What, a, what kind of task? I see, that sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request to you, it must be important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. Your Poke Gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I, I promise I won't drop it in the water next time. The Pokemon Gear, or Poke Gear as it's so often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use a Poke Gear to make a phone call, too. Do you remember how? Yes, but you're gonna tell me anyways. Just power on the Poke Gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. It really is. Because I could just do this, tap my mom, and call her. Hello, Spud? God, I'm so used to hearing your voice, but you almost sound like a different person on the phone. So strange. Yeah, it's also strange. <laughs> it's also strange that I made a phone call directly in your face, and you answered directly in your face. What do you think, Viridian? <laughs> Viridian is concerned about your mom. <laughs> She's fine. She's fine. Alright. So, we now have everything. We should be able to go and run and be free. No, no one's stopping me now. Son of a... Wait one second! Hi, Professor Elm. How are you? I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Wow, kind of convenient since I just got back my Poke Gear. I'll call you if anything comes up. All right, later. Did you see that suspicious boy standing outside your lab? No? Okay, bye. All right. Now we on Route 29. And, oh yeah, I should probably check uh, Viridian's nature in junk. Something I always forgot to do. Calm nature. Oh god. It's been a hot minute. Thank god there's like these blue and red texts. So you have good defense and Ooh. bad attack. It's fine. It's fine. Viridian's more of a wall anyways. Well, Chikorita is more of a wall anyways. Um, so it's fine. It's fine. Low attack set might be a problem. But it's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it as we go along and everything else. All right. So here on Route 29, we got stuff to do. Well, not really stuff to do. But as I'm casually walking through the tall patches of grass, I'm going to collect items. And we found a potion. Hooray. More stuff for me to use. Anything over here? <laughs> There's a large, formidable tree that can be headbutted. Thanks. I was wondering how long I will go until, like, <laughs> I get into a battle. Uh, we're gonna train Viridian up a bit. Uh, reason is, is that we kinda wanna give Viridian some experience, because, uh, spoilers, there's a battle coming up, maybe. 
<laughs> Maybe. There, there could be a battle. There could not be. Who, who knows? I can't tell you. Also, we can't catch Pokemon yet, so... That was a crit? Yo, Sentrit. You need some help. Okay, so let's just keep going. Like always, uh, if there's wild Pokemon battles, we'll just skip around. That, that's how things work, right? You know, no one likes to watch random encounters. Like that! <laughs> oh my god, Viridian, why are you suddenly missing? Viridian! Tackle doesn't have that low of an accuracy, come on! All this Sentra's doing is using foresight on you. You should, like... <laughs> you should, like, tackle it! Thank God! Oh, so close to level 6. So close. Alright, you look like you have something to say. I wanted to take a break, so I saved to record my progress. Such a mood. Alright, let's just keep going. Uh, can I avoid this patch of grass? The answer is no. It's always a patch of grass. Alright, you look like you have something to say. I'm waiting for Pokemon that only appear at night. Ah, uh, yes. This mechanic. It's an Abercorn tree. There's nothing to put in. There's no reason to take it. Take it. Oh, man. So, yeah. Uh, in this game, well, specifically in Gold and Silver, they introduced Day and Night for the first time, and there are actually some Pokemon you can only find in Day and Night. I don't remember if Platinum did this, so this is, like, the first time in forever since they've done this. Ah, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. And that's okay. Everyone's a rookie at some point. If you like, I can teach you a few things. Okay, then follow me. Oh, but I don't I, I don't need to learn. Also, you move fast for an old man. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you were wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try to keep up. That's still fast. This is the Pokemon Center. They'll heal they heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. Okay, but can I just... Okay. <laughs> Hi. This is a Pokemart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Okay. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Okay, but I need to go there. I have an errand. Oh, okay. I'm being dragged over here now. This is a sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon only found in water. Okay. Jeez, you move so fast. Here! It's my house. For your effort keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm! Why would you give me your old shoes? <laughs> gotcha, didn't I? Don't worry, these are brand new. Oh. Thanks, guy gent. The instructions say touch the sprint button and touch the, touch the sprint button on the touch screen to sprint. It also says hold the B button down to sprint. Okay, so a lot of people find this feature useful because you can just tap the bottom screen and it's like, oh, hey, you're automatically running. And then they never brought this feature back in future Pokemon games and then, like, eventually running doesn't matter. So it's like... It, it, it's useful. And then they took it away from one generation. And then another generation, they kind of not really brought it back and then they just, like, Gave you roller skates. Oh, look, I'm just trying to describe everything. The point is, this is this is neat. I won't be using it because I hate running. Yes, I hate running. That's me. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, we don't need to go to the Pokemon, but I guess I should just show it off anyways in case you, the person, might be like, Ooh, what they have in this Pokemon? Do they have Pokeballs? The answer is no. All they have is potions, antidotes, which cures poison, and paralyzed seals, which cures paralysis. Look, really, you don't need to buy any of those. I mean, poison is something you'll probably encounter, but I probably won't need it. Yeah. I battled trainers on the road and I lost. They're a mess. I must take them to the Pokemon Center. So why are you still here? How about over here? You're trying to see how good you are as a Pokemon trainer. You better visit the Pokemon gyms all over Johto and collect badges. Gee, thanks, buddy. When I get older, I'm gonna be a gym leader. I made my Pokemon battle with my friends to make them tougher. <laughs> Are you the one who beat up the boy outside in the glasses? Because he's kind of complaining. Okay, let's go back to the Gaijin's house. Not that you really need to, but... 
When I was a wee lad, I was a hotshot trainer. Here's some words of advice. Catch a lot of Pokemon. But you can only take six with you. If you catch more, they'll be sent to your PC. They won't run away from the PC, so there's no need to be alarmed. Remember what I tell you. Treat them with the utmost kindness. Chigger, uh, Viridian, what do you gotta say? He, Viridian is glowing with health, yeah. And yeah, this thing's about right. Uh, you gotta say, when you're with Pokemon, going everywhere's fun. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Pokemon getting experience in battle and change your form. Yeah, it's called evolution. Okay, so it's, it's Tutorial Town. It's Tutorial Town to teach you the basics of Pokemon and like everything else in the game. Cool! Let's go! <sighs> I made it! I forgot about one thing! This is another token for me. Take it! Oh cool, I got a map! Sweet. Oh yeah, I should be talking, huh? <laughs> Oops, I forgot tutorial was happening. So let's show off the town map. It's right here on the bottom. See, there you go. Here's the entire map of Johto. Look how big everything is. Wow, and you can zoom in. Oh, uh, another thing uh, on this town map is that you can put labels on it. Like, uh, you know, say, say here in New Bar Town, I don't know. You put the house icon, and then you just pick a phrase. Uh... Daily life. Yeah, there you go. And that's it! You put up to four labels, and that's pretty useful for something. I have no idea what the purpose of these labels are. All I know is, like, it's useful. I guess if you... Well, in my humble opinion, if there are places that you need to remember, and be all like, oh yeah, uh, New Bark Town has, like, something that I can do, you could just slap it on there. But again, it's with the preset words and all that stuff. Anyways, I should just stop showing the map because it's spoiling the places we possibly going to. And that will be it for this episode. So if you like what you see here, just slap that like button. Really like what you see here, slap the subscribe button. You won't regret it. If you do, blame yourself for listening to me. Radian, what's your word of, what's your daily advice? Your poem on smelling the scent of flowers. Yep. Sounds about right. <laughs>